We're taking a look at it's a it's a hand hewn oak barn. Uh, some additions have been added to it, but so uh, we have is we'll go under here. Uh, we're looking at sleepers. Uh, those are the, the the main beams that hold up the uh, the barn, take the weight of the hay or whatever farm farm equipment was up there. So these are oak hand hewn top and bottom. Sleepers are hand hewn on top and bottom and uh, usually usually a live edge or a raw edge. Uh, and what we do have is a little, that one's a chestnut, American chestnut. Um, chestnut trees, uh, a blight killed them. We over harvested them and uh, there's really uh, nothing left of the American chestnut. So we have, uh, that was painted of course in 1967 by J. Neff. That's pretty neat. So we have some some solid sleepers under here. And as we get back towards the back door, the stonework is just this old stuff just awesome. So as we take a, a walk back in here, you can see now this was an addition. And they actually uh it caved in a little bit so really we're not interested in this stuff and uh, you can see as we pan up that mother nature has taken her toll on the roof there a section of roof the slate has blown off we had a pretty bad storm not too long ago with 65 mile an hour gusts and it it took most of the uh, the slate off of this so so this we're standing in an addition that was put on probably turn of the century. As we go up here, we'll head inside and take a look at what we got. So the first thing I see is we got some hand hewn. Love the old chain. Love the old chain. I mean the ladder systems in here are beautiful. Just absolutely amazing. All hand hewn. And when I say hand hewn, for those who don't know, uh, that was that was all cut out of a tree with an axe. You can see the uh, prominent axe marks, and uh, the rungs are amazingly beautiful. And a chain, more chain. This is wrought iron chain that was made by a blacksmith. So what we have is we have a three bay barn, and as I pop, walk over here and pan around. So this would have been the main door if I would walk in. Now there is some damage up in that corner, which I call the right hand. Uh, that'll be the, uh, the gable top plate there. Another amazing ladder system right there. It's got plenty of height for a, a great loft area. Master bedroom, if you'd like to turn this into a house. Um, so there is two beautiful uh, ladder systems in here. This is all hand hewn. Um, like I said, there's one, two, there's three bays. I'm standing in the center bay. Um, looks there was some nice oak threshing there, but uh, a lot of times the tractors would sit old cars and just leak out on the wood. I'm not so interested in wood soaked in oil. So, uh, but anyway, so we have some nice peg mortise and tenon. This is just a beautiful timber frame. Here's some really primitive looking hand hewning. I like the rougher stuff. Uh, looks like we have to uh, repair a section up here. Um, they introduced a, uh, a dormer and the dormer snow probably just backed up but that's going to need to be replaced and now from the outside looks like a pretty big barn but they added a section and you can tell because it goes from hand hewn so there's a hand hewn top plate and then it changes to song so that last bent um, was added on probably turn of the century so it went from hand hewn to song um, and what I'm interested in is, is saving the original barn frame which is a three bent barn just uh, the possibilities are endless what you can turn these into there's a homemade ladder that I 
earlier had climbed up to uh, look at the rafters, get a measurement on the rafters. And uh, believe it or not, it's, a, it's like when we used to build tree forts. If you only had, if you didn't have long nails, you just put about a hundred small nails and hope they held. But uh, I climbed up there and it's sturdy as the day they built it. So, so this is the, the end, the end bent, the gable bent. And there is the addition. The only hand-hewn log in that is the uh, the top plate up there, which you can see there's mortise. Let's see if I can zoom in. You can see the mortise pockets. They salvaged that from some other barn. Oops, sorry about that. So they borrowed that from some other barn, but other than that, it's, it's all sawn. Um, and the planking on it is uh, apparently newer. And that roof, uh, Mother Nature took a toll on that. One little leak, and if you don't take care of it, it'll just it'll bring a barn down. So you keep them dry, they'll last forever. But if you don't take care of the roof, you know they're gonna come down. Doesn't take long. So if you uh, if you're watching this and you want to turn a uh, barn frame into a home, uh, they're very unique, one of a kind. <laughs> Nobody has the. Uh, it's not like your next door neighbor down the street is going to have one of these. And the, the applications that you can do with this are, are endless. And I like to say that it's uh, basically that when you put this frame up, it's your canvas. And uh, you, know, you can paint whatever you want on your canvas. Lots of room. And just open to your imagination. So we've addressed... We've addressed that corner. It's going to need to be back. Repaired. Top plate needs to be replaced. Uh, there's, it's just rotted through there. <clears throat> so, if you're watching this and you're interested, give us a call. So, as I walk out here. We're, we're taking a look at, at Hawk Mountain.